Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. The headlines. Rescue operations continue into the night in Turkey and Syria as the death toll from Monday's earthquake passes 22,000. Another newborn baby is rescued from the rubble in Turkey. Ten-day-old Yagis and his mother were found around 90 hours after the first earthquake. The partner of former Newcastle United footballer Christian Atsu tells us she's anxiously waiting for news as it's confirmed he's still missing. The rescuers are trying their best, hard working day and night to rescue everybody. And um, I just feel for everybody who has, like, like me and my children, been in the unknown, not knowing if their family is alive or not. Here, the Ministry of Defence sends uh, vital aid to Turkey on an RAF transport plane, including much needed medical equipment. The RMT Rail Union rejects the latest offer from National Rail and train operating companies in the ongoing dispute about pay, jobs and conditions. UK economy at a standstill. New figures show even though we narrowly avoided falling into a recession in 2022, there was no growth at all in the final three months of the year. Two weeks since Nicola Bully disappeared while walking her dog in Lancashire. Now the police are extending their search downstream. Hello and welcome to the programme. We're going to start uh, in Turkey and Syria. Rescue workers are continuing day and night after the two huge earthquakes back on Monday. In Turkey's Hatay province, a 10-day-old baby was saved along with his mother. Nearby, a 7-year-old girl was rescued and taken to hospital. Well, these are the pictures uh, live in Diyarbakir. That's in southern Turkey. You can see the light has faded there. Turkey, uh, that part of Turkey, about three hours ahead of us, and they are relying there on the light from that fire as rescue efforts continue. The problem, of course, freezing temperatures with hunger setting into hopes fading that many more people will be saved. More than 22,000 people are now known to have died. John Donison has the latest. Four days after Monday's double earthquake, the scale of this disaster continues to shock. Much of southern Turkey now resembling a war zone. Along the border with Syria, they're burying the dead in mass graves. Well over 20,000 are already known to have died. <laughs> Moments like this are rare. This baby boy, only 10 days old, was rescued along with his mother. They'd been under the rubble for almost 100 hours. The country's hospitals are struggling to cope with the tens of thousands of injured. This young girl, Tuana, has had to have her leg amputated. 